Hi, I'm Varsha from Vivaldi. If you're a Mac user, we'll try to rekindle your love for creativity and customization. Without any doubt, Safari on Mac does well. But is it all great? Not quite. There are things in Vivaldi that stand out. So get ready to fall in love with your browser again. Let's go. Explore Safari alternatives, mouse gestures. If you aren't using mouse gestures in Vivaldi already, then you are in for a treat. On by default in Vivaldi, simply press the right mouse button down, keep it pressed while moving the mouse left, then release. After a bit of practice, we bet this will be your preference too. You'll find a wide selection of gestures by default in Vivaldi. We recommend learning at least the basics like back, forward and reload. But it doesn't stop there. You can draw your own gesture and assign any of Vivaldi's custom commands. For example, have one set up to move in and out of full screen. It's such a time saver. Meet the window panel in Vivaldi browser. A cluttered tab is worse than a cluttered desk. <laughs> but when researching something, tabs seem to magically appear. And then later, you don't want to haphazardly close something important. With a full tab bar, it's not easy to scan through the titles. Safari has a pretty neat tab overview feature, we must say. But still, it doesn't hold a candle to the efficiency of the window panel in Vivaldi browser. By looking at all the favicon and titles together, it's a piece of cake to multi-select and hit delete. With all those pages gone, you are free to start filling up with tabs from the next project. By all means, take a look at Vivaldi's tab stacks, and especially the two level tab stacks. Extensions, extensions, extensions. Extensions are a nice option to have. Safari has extensions too, but the extension store is a barren land compared to the vast options available with Vivaldi through the Chrome extension store. Built-in tab tiling in Vivaldi browser. Mac OS offers the ability to tile full screen windows, which is a powerful feature. And these days, most meetings are through video conferencing. Typically during meetings, Vivaldi lets you command click the tabs, hit the title button, and then you can attend the video meeting while keeping an eye on the chat. Another great use case is to split the video chat with Figma or split three ways with Slack, Figma, and the conference call in the third. While you can do so much of this with window management in macOS, it takes more effort. Move the tab tiling button from the status bar to the address bar for easy access. And hold one, another strong recommendation for your address bar. Just keep only back, reload and tab tiling. The panel in Vivaldi is much better alternative to Safari's. Some of you may like or dislike the side panel in Safari. If you open it, it seems to stay open and reopen unexpectedly after closing. By contrast, the panel in Vivaldi never tries to bug you. If you close it, it stays closed. You can even keep it minimized. That way, it's easy to click open and you can see notification bubbles if anything requires your attention. Use it for the window panel, downloads, web panels. Search shortcuts in Vivaldi are a great Safari alternative. Search engine nicknames in Vivaldi are super cool. Add a search engine to Vivaldi, such as designer favorites, Unsplash and Dribble. The best part is that you can assign single key nicknames. When you open a tab in Vivaldi, you can type you happy face to see some happy faces on Unsplash. Safari does have the same feature, but without nicknames. So you need to enter the URL of the site to search. While this may not sound like a big task, the difference is night and day. In Vivaldi, you can be a search wizard or at least a search novice. By default, there are keywords set for several search engines. For example, type WMacOS to search Wikipedia for your operating system of choice. Media support in Safari. With the release of macOS 11, the state of media support on Mac has gotten better. You can even play .flack in the Finder these days. With older macOS versions, the popular format WebP doesn't work, and underground favorites Mastrovska, WebM, and Og still won't open or play. While browsing with Safari, you may need a secondary browser in case someone shares a file in one of these formats. For those on Macs with ARM-based M1 processors, and if you're lucky enough to have an M1-powered Mac, rest assured, Vivaldi is available for Apple's new Macs with ARM-based M1 processors. 
And you know what? It's become an even more attractive Safari alternative. Go download. Those of you lucky enough to have M1 Mac Mini, Mac Air, MacBook Air, or Mac Pro systems, you'll find Vivaldi twice as fast as before. Final thoughts on Vivaldi browser as a Safari alternative. A great way to use Vivaldi along with Safari is to keep your work in Vivaldi. When working from home, being able to contain all work communication in one app makes it easier to separate it from your private life. Having everything in one app makes drawing that line just a tiny bit easier. So with all of this, is it time to find a Safari alternative and replace Safari? Hmm, the answer is no. If nothing else, Safari is not possible to remove. The WebKit engine is a core component of macOS. The upside of that is that the Safari executable doesn't consume much disk space. Running Vivaldi alongside Safari is the perfect way to try it out. Let links open in Safari and then use Vivaldi for research and work. That way you can keep the stray tabs out of Vivaldi and rely on Vivaldi's organizational power to keep your tabs structured. To sum it up, Vivaldi can be an upgrade from Safari in many ways in terms of vast utility and improved workflows. So download Vivaldi and run it alongside Safari. You never know when it becomes a default by choice. And we really hope you fall in love with your browser again.